as they hit the Lifeline USA start zone. Out of turn number four, green flag, we're underway. Dominic Selzy getting out in front of Cole Macedo on this opening start. Macedo down on the, uns on the inside, side by side up in the second corner. Dominic Selzy will lead the field going into turn number three, and he's got the Marshalls baton here in this A main event for the fourth and final night of the fastest four days in motorsports. Junior, but here comes Corey Day winding it up, and he dives down low. Claymaker from the 14 of Day, but crossover move from Myers. Oh boy, you can see the brakes on Myers' car are really hot right now. Preferred lines high in one and two, low in three and four. As Corey Day now trying to make up that big gap between himself and third place Trey Starks. No doubt traffic is going to become a factor as it'll be 12 laps complete this time by in 18 to go. He's close to those unforgiving tractor tires on the bottom. Good race for fifth here between Tanner Holmes and Joel Myers Jr. And Corey Day going for P3 up top. Fearless Corey Day on the podium right now. And he's able to go on either side of the racetrack he wants to go, Ben. High, low. Fight for occupation of eighth place. Here comes Corey Day going for second. He's going to beat Cole Macedo at the wire. And now Corey Day, one spot away from the lead, Phil. Oh, boy, he is at high side. Look how high he gets up on the racetrack. I don't know if Dominic's going to be able to hold him off. If he is, how long? Dominic sells. He keeps it up high and turns one and two. Corey Day is just so fast in three and four. Here he goes. Rim riding the high side out of turn number four, trying to drag race Selzy. Selzy will lead us past the halfway mark. 16 down, 14 to go. Day down low, tries to throw a playmaker at him, but Selzy denies him, and now Day's got a gap. Well, Dominic tried to run the block up there, basically. He's been uh, hanging down low, but as soon as he knows he's coming, he tries to slide up and take his spot away, and we got one around. It's the 21. Trey Stark sitting back, just waiting to see what they're going to do. Trey following in the footsteps of Day. This might be what he needed right here, Ben. Dive bomb down low. Claymaker from Corey Day on the binders of Selzy. Selzy with the crossover move as they go into turn number three and four. Selzy still on the bottom. Selzy, Claymaker on Day. Day crosses them up as they come to the line. Nine laps to go. Corey Day, your new race leader. Well, that's what the race fans came to see. We love it. And they do it so precise out there. But meanwhile, look what happened. Trey starts now. He's in the picture. It is going to be the 14 of Corey Day to P1. Here comes Trey Starks looking to pounce around Dominic Selzy. Selzy back to third now. And now the 18T of Tanner Holmes comes calling as Corey Day starting to pull away from the rest of the field. Sel oh. Selzy and Starks, great race here, Phil. Yes, it is, but Dominic's not giving up yet. He's going battling with his buddy, Trey Starks. And all, well, they're doing that. Look who's all of a sudden in third. It's Tanner Holmes. Third right now, here comes DJ Neto trying to get back in the top five. Trey Starks giving Corey Day a little something here, Phil. Yes, he is. He's hugging down low. Day is using the high side. Home staying down low and a caution once again. It's going to be the 69 of Bud Kading. Bud Kading in car number 69 getting sideways and coming to a halt. And double checkers flying as your winner for the sixth time in 2023 with the NARC 410 Sprint Car Series in the third time out of four. He's actually the first driver to win three out of four races with the fastest four days in motorsports.